Hi, it's New Year's Eve. I'm in Kranska Gora in the mountains at my grandma's weekend house. And I'm here with my mom and grandma and the dogs. It's uh, 9 p.m. Grandma already asleep. And I'm going to film this annual traditional review of the past year. And also I'm going to tell you what my plans and resolutions are for the next year. I know there's people have strong opinions about doing New Year's resolutions or not, but I really like doing it and I think it's a nice fresh start of the year. It's a nice time to look back and see what happened in the past year and also to plan and see what you can do new in the new year. And um, I did the same video last year and I rewatched it a few days ago and it was just nice to see where I was this time a year ago and it was nice to see what I managed to achieve, what I didn't and what changed. So I don't know, I, I think it's gonna be a tradition for me. <laughs> and it's also helpful to put it on the internet and to feel accountable. So um, yeah, in case you're interested or not, I don't know, this might be just for me. <laughs> so first, uh, let's do the 2022 review. And uh, this time last year, we just freshly moved from Berlin to Munich. We came for CB's job for six to 12 months. We thought we were gonna stay. And that's why I wrote down as a resolution to try and become full-time illustrator in that year. Just because I left my side job in Berlin and uh, I was in a new city and I thought that it would be a good time to try. And of course it didn't work out. <laughs> it's not so easy. I've only been doing illustrations for a about two, three years before. Uh, it was a very optimistic goal, but I'm very happy now still doing my side job that we are back in Berlin. And um, I go to the shop to souk twice a week. It works really well for me and I'm not in a hurry to get out of it. So this is not a resolution now for this next coming year. Uh, I wanted to do less private commissions and more editorial or um, commercial work. And I did decrease um, my private commissions this year. And I also um, started doing these Business Wednesdays where I was sending my portfolios out to potential clients. And uh, I was so terrified of that before. I really, I really hated putting my work out there. But I think this year I really got better at that and really pushed my work out, didn't feel bad about it, and also got some results from it. Okay, there's fireworks starting and the dogs are really hating it. So for this Business Wednesdays, I um, had the resolution to prepare a PDF portfolio to send it off to potential clients in an email, just like a PDF file with my illustrations in. I did that in the, f in the first months of last year and I started sending these uh, emails to clients like that, but I quickly realized that it's too much work to keep updating this PDF portfolio, and I decided to just put a few illustrations that are suitable for this client that I want to send an email to in just an email, so attach images um, just into the email, and uh, I figured this, this works really well. They are able to see the images right uh, when they open the email. They don't have to open a special uh, attachment and uh, it's much easier for me to, to do it like that. So I just make sure I um, updated my portfolio very regularly and I also attach my portfolio so they can also see all the works there. My resolution was to make some sort of products, so cards, Christmas cards, and prints and I did all that. I was selling them at the Soho House Christmas Market and at the shop where I work at, at Souk. So I was really happy to do that. I was continuing to making videos, also reached 1000 subscribers and uh, got monetized on YouTube. Okay, I'm going to show you a few of my favorite projects that I did this year in the illustration. Um, so the first one was Trafika. Um, it was supposed to be a cover for a Slovenian magazine. It didn't end up published on a cover, um, but it's still an illustration that I really loved. 
um, I still do. I think I discovered my oh. own style, um, completely digital style, um, that I still like to use with that illustration. And then the second one was uh, a logo for a Samosa Club Berlin. And um, I know the founder. I worked with them before and it's really nice to have contacts like that. And uh, it's so nice to know these people who are doing these interesting projects. I really appreciate that they gave me this task of doing this illustrated logo, which is something I really want to do more of. And then I did... Oh, this was my personal project. This videos and posters for a series that I documented here on YouTube. Uh, what are people wearing in Berlin? Series of illustrations featuring different people from different neighborhoods in Berlin and what they're wearing. And I'm really happy with the result. I made prints, I made postcards or little A5 cards. And um, yeah, they are now exhibited in one exhibition in Berlin. Uh, at K1 and they're also for sale in a shop where I work at, at Suk. Another really nice project I did this year was for a Slovenian organization for children, Zviza Prijatelom Ladine, and uh, it was also just because of Business Wednesday, I sent them an email and they just had a project uh, waiting for these posters for a week of the child, which is a big event they do every year. And uh, yeah, it was really nice to work with um, this organization and I'm really happy with the poster, with how it turned out. It was exhibited or it was hung in um, every elementary school and kindergarten in Slovenia. And my cousins had it in their school and kindergarten, which is really nice. <laughs> they sent me selfies of them with the poster, which is really nice to see. <laughs> Okay, and now for the resolutions and plans for 2023. <laughs> um, I have my list here because I need help. So, um, I'm now okay with still doing my side job twice a week. It really works well. I'm not in a hurry to get out of it. And uh, yeah, it's also a nice break from my desk and the living room. And my desk is in my living room, so I like to get out of it sometimes. And I know that the rent is sorted, so the rest I can manage with illustration most, most of the time. <laughs> so the big project this year that I'm starting straight when I come back to Berlin on January 2nd or 3rd, um, I'm starting to illustrate uh, my first children's book that I'm working on with a um, publishing house in Slovenia. And uh, it's also a product of one of the Business Wednesdays where I wrote to a writer that my aunt recommended. She knows him through a friend or something. And I wrote him and then he was really nice. And I think he connected me with his uh, publishing house that he works with. And it's confirmed now. So I'm scared and excited and I'm going to do my best job. So that's the biggest project and my main focus for the first couple of months of 2023. And then once that is done, I'm going to do an online shop for my, my own online shop. And I want to sell my prints and postcards and the things I make in more shops in Berlin. And I want to do something like an event or a market with uh, live drawing like the portrait type of drawing that I do. I want to do that live sometimes. We'll see. Um, I want to write illustration agencies and try to get in there. And um, I think that would be a big thing to, to get more exposure to editorial and commercial clients. By the end of the year, I want to have five months where I made um, a thousand euros or more just with illustration, not counting in my side job. So that's like a numbers goal. It would be, I'll be super happy if this happens. It's just, you know, like an idea. <laughs> um, and then oh, there's more prints I want to do, like quite urgently. I want to 
drew Friedrich's handprint for the What Are People Wearing in Berlin series, and then also a Schöneberg one. And I want to do more products also when I have an online shop. Like I really want to do like embroidered like caps and tote bag and maybe like a bandana with my illustrations on. That would be super fun. And okay, that's for work. Should I tell you also my not work related stuff? I have it down here, so I'm just gonna tell it to you. So at home, I want to keep home more clean and tidy. <laughs> so right now with CB we have a routine that we clean up once a week on a Sunday. I think it would be necessary to do it more often, <laughs> so I'm gonna try and do that. And um, I will hang pictures on the walls. We're gonna stay in this apartment for you know a little while, so we should do that. And I'm gonna move the boxes in a storage that are still standing around the living room. And I want to tidy my desk where I work every day. Um, so I, I don't have a good habit of cleaning up my desk after work in the evening. So sometimes it's really not very pleasant to come back to work on, in the morning. So I just want to do that this year. Clean every evening, start fresh every morning. And then for health, I'm quite happy with um, my habits already. I eat quite well, I exercise quite regularly, but um, yeah, I want to keep up with my exercise five times a week. And one thing that I'm buying now, as soon as I come back to Berlin, I'm gonna buy a stationary bike because my mom has it here in Ljubljana and I've been using it every day and it's, so good like it's a really great exercise and I used to run almost every day uh, but I had to stop this year because um, I had a knee problem and you know for the whole year I didn't do any running even walking was painful sometimes now it's getting better but cycling is really good for the knee so I want to keep doing that I want to learn new healthier recipes to make more nice healthy food at home and eating out once a week is what we do with Sebi. We used to do it a lot more often just because of laziness, like three times a week or something. And then it just gets expensive and you don't appreciate it so much anymore when you go out. So now recently, maybe a month or two ago, we already started doing it just once a week. And then the, the other days we cook at home and it's really nice. And I just want to learn more nice things to cook at home that are healthy and good. And then for skills, I want to pick up knitting or sewing. I have a sewing machine and I have a bunch of knitting patterns that I bought, but I, I know basics of these two things, but I never really got into them seriously. So this year I want to do one of these really well. I want to sew like something to wear or need something to wear. And I want to go back to um, learning German because I've been in Berlin now for four years, in Germany for four years. And I took classes really seriously in the beginning, like the first, I don't know, like four or five months, I was going to these intensive classes four times a week. So I have this basic knowledge, it's quite good, but I, it's really hard to get above that now. It's, I, I get by working at a shop, doing it in German mostly. If I don't manage, I help myself in English and people are really nice and understand, but it's just embarrassing sometimes now that I'm not able to speak fluently yet. So this year would be really, really good if I, if I get fluent in German. And then for traveling, I really want to go to New York City. And I think that's going to be my treat for when I finish the book illustration. And a Scandinavia trip would be really nice. Finland specifically. And I want to swim in the sea this year. Okay, and for the YouTube section, um, I want to keep doing weekly videos this year. I've um, kept 
to doing these weekly videos last year quite well. I think I missed twice. Once I was sick, once I was moving, but otherwise I kept the schedule. And then also the vlogmas. I was quite happy I did that. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that this year. <laughs> it's still too early, I'm still traumatized. Um, but I just want to put more effort into making videos. I want to um, be more strategic, make videos interesting and also helpful and also educational or just, I don't know, provide some useful information um, about, I don't know, illustration, what I'm learning, or also Berlin or being an expat, a mix of things like that. Uh, I also want to learn how to make better thumbnails, SEO and stuff behind the scenes. It would be fun to get one sponsor this year. Because YouTube, I mean, it's, it's all really great, I'm really enjoying it. But I also want this to be a part of my business and a part of being a freelance illustrator. I think it's really useful to have an online platform like this. I don't know, I just think it's gonna add to the business as well. So that's it. Let me know if you are writing some New Year's resolutions for yourself. You can tell me um, if you want to share something that you want to do next year. And I wish you happy and healthy and successful 2023. And um, yeah, I'll see you soon. Eddie, let's go.